Here's another example of prime factorization using a factor 3. I'm going to use the number 3465 and to factor it with the factor tree. I write it in the middle, so this is just sort of my using. Write it in the middle, and I have at least two branches of my tree. Okay, what's going to go into this? Well, I see a 5 at the end. I also can see, let's see, uh, 3 plus 4 is 7, plus 6 is 13, plus 5 is 18. So I know that 3 also goes into this. <coughs> Pardon me. So I can actually divide 15 into it, or I can start simple and just put a 5 into it. So let's go 5 into 3465. 5 goes into 34 6 times. 5 goes into 46 9 times, and 15 3 times, so 693. Interesting, a video that you will see in a few minutes, or a little bit later in this post, I actually did first, so I do this arithmetic again here in a little bit for you. So this you can see is divisible by 3, and let's look at this. Look, it's also divisible by 9, because 6 plus 3 is 9 plus 9 is 18, and 18 is divisible by 9, so I'm going to put a 9 there. 9 goes into 69. Let's see, 9 times 7 is 63. And, oh, look, there it is again. So this is 9 times 77. And 9 is 3 times 3, and 77 is 11 times 7. So I look at the leaves, I probably should be using green, because this is kind of fun. These are the leaves of my tree. Ah! <coughs> bah! See? Errors, errors. I get all excited about the leaf. The leaves are at the end of the tree, not stuck in the middle. This is not some reality tree where you have leaves in the middle. This is our fantasy prime factorization tree. Leaves are only on the end. So 3465 equals, and we try to put them in order, 3 times 3 times 5 times 7 times 11. And we put them in order. I put them in order because when we do other things with prime factorization, because this isn't the end goal. This is just something to be used for other things. When we, when we use it for other things, it will be helpful when it's in order. So it's not wrong if it's out of order, it's just not as easy to work with. 